Oh, hi everyone. I'm Mrs. G. There's lots to do and see. Come and play along with me. Come on. Hi, Mrs. G. There's lots to do and see. Come and play along with me. Welcome. Happy Christmas. Something strange has happened in the garden this morning. I got up and I saw this tree. It wasn't there before. It wasn't there last night and it wasn't there the day before. It's not decorated and it's Christmas time. I wonder why it's here. Let's have a look. There seems to be a few clues. Santa stop here. Have a Merry Christmas. Christmas countdown. We're nearly there, everyone. Merry Christmas, Little Robin. And Merry Christmas, Snowman. I'm going to knock on the door and see who's there. We need help with our tree. With this tree? Yes. Why are you asking me? Because we watched all your videos and we found your treasure box. My treasure box with all my things in, the objects from all yes. my videos. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name is Conkers. Hi Conkers. Hi. Is it is it just you? No. Oh. I've got my brothers called Sage. Hi Sage. <laughs> and Jeremy. Hi Jeremy. Hi this tree, but it's really rubbish. That's why we need you to help. I'm sure I can help. Let's get decorating. Oh, what happened? No wonder they can't decorate properly. Oh my goodness me. Oh no. I'm going to clap my hands three yeah. times and it's going to turn them into good little elves. Watch this. This tree is way better than this old tree. That's Thank okay. you, Mrs. G. That's Why okay. That's okay. Thank you for asking me to help you to pop in today. Well, let's go and help Father Christmas make some new ones. See you soon. Story time with Mrs. G. Merry Christmas, everyone. Mrs. G is so excited. I have just put the tray down for Santa. He's got a little treat and a drink and a carrot for Rudolph. And tonight he will come down the chimney. How exciting. And I've got a little story to tell you. You may remember TJ, my little friend, and you may remember that he has adventures with, with Alfred. And they go away, 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 a long way, up, 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 past the moon, past the stars. And they have these amazing adventures. Well, what happened on this particular occasion was TJ and his little sister April put down the tray for Santa, just as I've done. And they started saying, I wonder if Santa will really come this year. It had been a very strange year, 2020. And they were a little bit worried. They had a peek actually up the chimney, but they couldn't see anything happening then. Mummy said, it's time to go to bed. And don't forget, you must go to sleep. Otherwise, Santa won't come. TJ went up the stairs, up he went. Up another flight of stairs, into his bedroom, up the steps. He pulled the covers over himself and he tried very, very hard to go to sleep. It is difficult on Christmas Eve, I know. 
He rode this way, he rode that way. And suddenly he heard the familiar cough of Big Alfred. <laughs> TJ flung his covers off. He looked down and he saw the little green alien. What are you doing here on Christmas Eve? said TJ to Big Alfred. I really need your help, TJ. What's happened? said TJ. I need to get to sleep, otherwise Santa won't come. Well, actually, Santa won't come if you don't come and help me. <gasps> okay, what do I need to do, Big Alfred? Close your eyes and count to ten, said Big Alfred. So TJ shut his eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When he opened his eyes, there they were, walking up the steps of the flying saucer. The doors opened, they walked in, the doors shut behind them. Big Alfred looked at TJ and TJ looked at Big Alfred. Had Big Alfred grown or TJ shrunk? I don't know. Big Alfred started pressing the control buttons and TJ started looking out of the window. They went up, 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 past the birds, past the clouds, past the sun, past all the stars and past the moon and past all the planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And there in front of them, it looked like an igloo. What's an igloo doing in space, said TJ. You will see, said Big Alfred, as the flying saucer went zooming into this igloo. As they got into the igloo, it seemed to go a bit further and further and further inside. And there at the end of the igloo was actually another sort of tunnel. And in that tunnel, there was Father Christmas sitting on his sleigh with all his reindeer. And he was looking at his list and he was shaking his head. <gasps> There's Father Christmas, said TJ. Yes, I know, said Big Alfred. He needs your help. What do I do now? Well, you need to close your eyes and count to five. One two, three, four, five. When TJ opened his eyes, he and Big Alfred were actually sitting on the sleigh. Hello, said Santa, or Father Christmas, if you want to call him that. Hello, said TJ. Are you on your way to my house? Well, said Santa, this is the problem. I have actually been to lots and lots of countries already. I've been to Australia, I've been to New Zealand, I've been to Singapore, I've been to Bali, I've been to here, I've been to there. And unfortunately, I have accidentally dropped a few presents on the way. Were they my presents? said TJ. I think they were, said Santa, or Father Christmas. What do you want me to do then? Well, I think you need to help me. You need to go to other countries to find your presents. Hmm, that sounds interesting. How would you like me to do that? This is where I come in, said Big Alfred, trying to join in. We need to get in the flying saucer and go to all the other countries so that Santa or Father Christmas can do his job and go all over the world and we can all be back in time for Christmas Day. OK, said TJ, I am willing to help. Do I need to now count to five again? Backwards from five, actually, said Father Christmas. He knew how to do it as well. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. TJ opened his eyes and he and Big Alfred were back in the flying saucer. Now, how will we know which countries to go to, said TJ. He saw Santa waving to him, going on his way. He was going up, up, up into the night sky. The reindeer were flying as high as they could and Santa was being so busy with the reins. I've had an idea, said Big Alfred. Do you know how to spell Christmas? Yes, I do, said TJ, because I've been back to school since lockdown. Um, it's a quite a long word. It's C-H-R-I-S-T-M A. S. Well done, TJ, said Big Alfred. Now we are going to go to all those countries and we are going to find your presents. Yippee, said TJ, this sounds a great adventure. Where should we go first? Can you think of a country beginning with C or K, said Big Alfred. Canada? Let's go there then. And they looked out of the window and there they saw the big globe of the world. I can see Canada, it's right at the top there. 
Okay, we're on our way, said Big Alfred. Let's go. And they went zooming all the way in their flying saucer. They even passed Father Christmas and waved to him on his sleigh. He was busy delivering all his other presents. They suddenly came to Canada. What do I do now? We're going to do something a little bit magic, said Big Alfred. I want you to blink three times and wiggle your nose and clap. So you did that. Blink three times, wiggle his nose and clap. And all of a sudden, as if by magic, a present landed in his hands. He looked out of the window and he could see the Canadian children. They were waving to him and there was the Canadian flag. Thank you so much, said TJ. He got his first present. And again, as if by magic, next to him was a sound. Quickly, he put the first present inside. Where to next, said TJ. Well, where did you say the letter was that we were going to? <laughs> Holland, that's a good one, said TJ. Let's go there, can you see it on the globe? Yes, I can, said TJ. And they zoomed down as far as they could go and there they hovered above Holland. That's a bit funny. TJ wiggled his nose, blinked his eyes, clapped his hands, and as if by magic, there in his hands, he had a present. It was from Holland. He looked out of the window and he waved to the Dutch children. Thank you so much and a Merry Christmas, he said. And he popped the present into the sack. The next place I think we need to go begins with R. Well done, Big Alfred, said TJ. Let's go to Russia. Okay, Russia it is. So they went in the flying saucer, over a little bit of the globe, and there, further down, they saw Russia. TJ blinked his eyes, wiggled his nose, clapped his hands, and there was another present. He looked out of the window, and there were the children from Russia. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for my present. He popped it into the sack. Where to next? I, 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 I. India. Oh, TJ was really on a roll here. Let's go, said Big Alfred, and they went zooming off a little bit further down than Russia, and there they saw India. He peeked out of the window, and there was lots of children waiting for TJ. They must have heard. How did they know? I don't know. TJ, three times, wiggled his nose, clapped his hands, and there was the present. He popped it into his sack, and he waved goodbye to the Indian children. Merry Christmas, he said. Where to next? Is hmm. Sweden. That's a good idea, said Big Alfred, but that means we need to go all the way up the globe again. Okay, off they went and the flying saucer was up and down and round and round. What an adventure this was. There they saw Sweden. TJ looked out of the window and he saw the Swedish children. Hi, everybody. Have you got something for me? And they held up the present. TJ blinked three times, wiggled his nose and clapped his hands. And there in his hands was the present. He popped it into the sack and he said, thank you so much. A Merry Christmas. Now we need to find somewhere beginning with T. I'll give you a clue, said Big Alfred. <laughs> What's that? said TJ. Something you have at Christmas time. Turkey? Yes, said Big Alfred. Is that a country? I think it is. Let's go there. Oh my goodness, this is such a fun adventure, said TJ. And there, the flying saucer zoomed a bit further down this time to Turkey. They looked out of the window and sure enough, there were some children holding up a present. So TJ blinked his eyes, wiggled his nose, clapped his hands and there was the present in his hands. He popped it into the sack. Thank you so much, everybody. Merry Christmas. And now I think we're going somewhere beginning with M. Oh, I really don't know about that, said TJ. I'll have a look, said Big Alfred, and he looked down at the globe. Ha, huh, I found a place called Mexico, right at the bottom of America. Why don't we go there? Good idea, said TJ. So the flying saucer went all the way to the bottom of America and there was Mexico. What do you need to do, said Big Alfred. Well, I'll look out the window and I'll just make sure that they're waiting for me. TJ looked out the window and there he saw the Mexican children. Hello, everybody. What do I need to do? 
Uh, what do I need to do, everybody? What do we need to do now? Blink three times. One, two, three. Wiggle your nose. My nose. And clap. And there, as if by magic, there's the present. Into the sack it went. Oh, this is so exciting, said TJ. But we're nearly coming to an end. I've only got two letters of Christmas left. Where shall we go next? Somewhere beginning with A or A, 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 A. Well, I do know somewhere, said TJ. My auntie and my uncle actually live in Africa. Let's go there then, said Big Alfred. And he turned the flying saucer around and they went all the way to Africa. It was a long, long way. Africa is such a long country. And there they saw out of the window all the African children waving. Hi, you got something for me, said TJ. One of the little children held up a present. He sort of threw it in the air. Quick, said Big Alfred, you need to quickly do your thing. My thing, what's my thing? Blink three times. One, two, three. What's next? Wiggle your nose. What's next? Clap your hands. And there the present landed in his hands and he popped it into the sack. Thank you so much, he said, and a Merry Christmas to you. Oh, Big Alfred, we're having so much fun. And look at the sack, it's really heavy. They're going to be my presents on Christmas morning. I can't believe it. We've got one more place to go, said Big Alfred. And that begins with S. I've had an idea, said TJ. It's somewhere where we go on our holiday every year. But this year, we weren't able to go on holiday. There were no aeroplanes. We weren't allowed to go out on holiday. This is a place that I love so much. It's Spain. Spain is a good place, said TJ. And Spain is a good place, said Big Alfred. Let's go. He turned the flying saucer around. And this was quite a long way from Africa because like I say, Africa, not a country, a continent, was very, very long. And they flew up, up, up to Spain. It was hot in Spain. And Big Alfred and TJ started getting really, really hot. They looked out of the window and sure enough, there was lots of children on the beach playing. Oh, I do miss that place for my holiday, said TJ. I wonder if they've got my present. He looked out of the window and sure enough, one of the little Spanish girls was holding it. She was wearing one of those beautiful Spanish dresses. She threw the present up in the air and TJ quickly blinked his eyes, wiggled his nose, clapped his hands and sure enough, the present came into his hands. He popped it into the sack. Wow, said TJ. Adios. That means goodbye in Spanish, said TJ to Big Alfred. And Feliz Navidad. What's that, said TJ. That means Happy Christmas in Spanish, said Big Alfred. He was clever. Whoa, said TJ. We've finished our job. What shall we do now? Well, I think Santa is actually above us. Can you see him? They looked out to the night sky and sure enough, again as if by magic, they were actually by all the planets. I think we need to go back to your house. Uh, how do we do that? said TJ. Okay, do you remember we need to count backwards from five yet again? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. And there they were, flying through the night sky, past all the planets. Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus and Mercury. And there was the moon and the beautiful stars and the sun and the birds and the clouds. And all of a sudden, TJ saw his house. And on top of his roof, because actually it was night time, there was Santa's sleigh. What's happening, Big Alfred? Well, we're going to land the flying saucer on the roof. Really, said TJ, this is amazing. And as if by magic, it landed. TJ saw Father Christmas, or Santa, and he beckoned to him. Come here, please, TJ. You've done a really good job. So TJ and Big Alfred found themselves sitting on the sleigh yet again. Did you manage to find all the presents, said Father Christmas? Yes, of course I did, said TJ. Here they are. And he held up the sack. Thank you, said Santa. And he took the sack from TJ. What am I going to do now, said TJ. Do I come down the chimney with you? No, said Big Alfred. It's your turn to go back to bed. Close your eyes and count backwards from ten. TJ shut his eyes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And when he opened his eyes, sure enough, he was in his bed. He rolled over. 
he undid the blind and it was morning time. Was that a dream or was it real? He didn't know. Did I really lose all my presents? April suddenly burst in his room. Happy Christmas, TJ. We must go downstairs. I think Santa's been. Do you? said TJ. I just left him on the roof. How could he have quickly come down the chimney? So TJ followed April. They ran down the stairs. And there, sure enough, by the fireplace, there was a great big sack for April and a great big sack for TJ. It was actually the sack that he had found with the presents in it. Was it a dream or was it real? Thank you for listening to my story and thank you for watching my video and I wish you a very, very happy Christmas and a happy new year 2021. Yoo -hoo! Thank you for popping in today. Mrs G had lots of games to play and along came Big Alfred. Oh, where was he going to go? He has adventures to a land that's past the moon. However you're feeling, whether you're happy or sad, you can go on an adventure that makes you feel glad. Take care, we'll see you very soon.